Now let's uh, talk about something that's really important when it comes to domestic bliss. Who does the cleaning and who does the ironing? Apparently new research from Norway suggests that sharing the housework could lead to divorce and marriages work best when women do almost all the chores. Really? <laughs> that's what they say in Norway. <laughs> we asked these couples what they thought. She does all the housework. No, I don't. We're still married. It's 50 25 years, 50, 50. so that's a lot of rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I did the bigger show is because he usually does it wrong and I have to do it again to make it right most of the time. Ridiculous. We, we share all the time, me and my wife, so we have no arguments about it. Good marriage. All the time. Very good marriage. I love her and she loves me. I don't know, I guess maybe because... Uh... When men try and do the household housework, they're so rubbish at it, it just leads to argument. Yeah, if like you're people of like women like doing, having it done a certain way, and men do it a different way. Well, what, they like and then the you have clean, an argument. Clean. No, but it's like technique, isn't it? And then yeah. see, so we're having an argument about it already. <laughs> this is the proof, isn't it? Let's talk about it now. Etiquette expert William Henson is here alongside journalist Michelle Eagleton. Very good morning to good morning, you. Morning, both. That's an interesting theory, isn't it, Michelle? Because some women say that men deliberately do housework badly so they don't get asked to do it. Yes, my husband's tried that a few times. His uh, latest thing is uh, putting the lights with the darks in the washing machine. <laughs> he only started that a week ago and I said to him, why are you doing that? And he said to me, well, they've all been washed so many times now that surely it doesn't matter. But I, um, That can be very expensive, can't it? Absolutely. I kicked him into touch and uh, we got rid of that one completely. But nowadays, as women, especially career women, we haven't got time to do it all and if I didn't have my husband doing his fair share of the housework then I'd really resent him, really would do and I think that would start more arguments in the household than me doing all the housework. Mm. William, your thoughts? I think this, this survey is really interesting because I would have thought actually that sharing the housework would lead to a better marriage or better relationship. So it's interesting, now it's interesting that it hasn't come from England, it's come from, from Norway. Um, so whether things are, are different over there and they are slightly more, I say, traditional. Um, it's sort of, kind of not what you'd expect from no, Norway No, not what actually. you'd expect at all because they are quite, all the Scandinavian countries are quite sort of progressive. Mm. So, but you know, each to each their own. Yes, and, and judging from quite a few of the emails we got this morning, everybody does work out. They're working out their own way, and quite quite a lot of people have very clearly defined areas mm. that they do do and they don't do. You know, even people who've been together. I think we had a couple who've been together for married for 40 years. years well, 30, didn't we? 40 years, yes. And they've just worked out, you know, who does what, and that's fine. It's not a problem in itself, but they do actually have very defined roles in the house. I would agree with that. I mean, I've been married for four years, so it's not long in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, he'll do the gardening. It sounds really sexist, doesn't it? He'll do the gardening, take out the bins, <laughs> but he does do the ironing because I cannot iron shirts to save my life. And he I'm does not. his own ironing, he, he does, does all the ironing. He does all the ironing and, and I just put all my clothes in the, the dryer and, and wish for the best. <laughs> <laughs> see, I love ironing. Uh, Never well, they, happier. They, well, there you go, you I see. love housework in general. Do you? But you are you quite? Do you think you're quite unusual amongst your peers doing that? Probably, but I always have done because I like. I don't like living in filth or with things mess that are, that are messy. So okay, maybe often it comes people down say to that, yeah. the big dividing line is the tea question, which is, do you clean the toilet? <laughs> uh, I, well, I yes, I clean all my lavatories. You do? Yes. Yeah, and I love them sparkling. They are. My sanitary wear is the envy of my face coat. <laughs> <laughs> OK, because sometimes men sort of say, that, yeah, I'll do the hoovering and all that kind of thing if it's got a bit of machinery involved. Yes, well, you know, uh, I think my husband will put the marigolds on and, and he will do things like the domesticated toilet bit. Mm. But uh, oh. at the end of the day, I think your priorities change as your relationship change. I've got a two-year-old daughter and nowadays it's about spending quality time as a family and also having those date nights and, and housework is... I'm not saying that our house is a mess, but it's, it's kind of secondary. As long as it's ticking over, I don't expect Kim and Aggie to come knocking on my door, you know, and, and be checking my household and going, is it clean? Is your house very clean? You want to get William round. I should do, exactly. yeah. I'll okay. come round. <laughs> not, not everybody <laughs> saying, a lot of you, lot of you this morning um, saying that you've all worked out system, but Katie says that my ex-husband rarely did any housework, leaving me to do it as well as look after the children and the dogs. Notice how he is my ex -husband. Yeah, and that's interesting because the, he didn't do any um, housework, and yet they are divorce. There you go. So mm. it's complicated. What do these Norwegians it? know, eh? Thank well, you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.